In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export a UE5 mannequin and then bring it over into Maya or other 3D software so you can use it as a scale reference. Now, I use this all the time. In fact, I have a cube that I used before and I continue using it, but I also use the scale mannequin to judge my proportion, my dimensions of all environments I create. This is so important to have inside your scene that in every environment I create, I have the scale mannequin pretty much duplicated everywhere. And this keeps me on point with creating my environments to proper scale. So I'm going to show you how to get this mannequin from UV5, export it as FBX, and then bring it over and use it inside your scenes. First is you need a project with a third person game template. So in this step, I am going to create a brand new project and then use that template so I can get access to the mannequin. However, if you already have a project created with a third person template, you can skip this step. As well as if you already have a project, you can just add a third person template into that project. And I'll show you how to do that after I create the project. So I'm just going to launch 5.03 or whatever version of Unreal Engine 5 you have to get access to the Unreal Project Browser. So I want to go to games, then I want to choose third person. This is the one that's going to give me three different versions of the mannequin that I could export. Then I'm going to go through, i uh, choose blueprint, target platform, uh, desktop, quality preset maximum, start content. I'm just going to go ahead and disable this. Then let me go ahead and give it a name, project name, project test, and then my project location. This should be good. And then let's hit create. All right, and here we are. Inside the content browser, this is where you'll get access to the folder and the mannequins. Now, for those of you who already have a project, but not a third person template associated with it, you can add a third person template right into your existing project by going to add. And if you don't see this content browser on the bottom, this may be disabled for you. All you do is press control space bar. This will bring it up and then you can dock it. So then you go to add, go to all the way up to add feature or content pack. And then here you could choose the third person to be added into your existing project. Now, of course, I don't need to do that, but just wanted to show you that if you weren't gonna create a new project, you can do so into an existing project. Let's navigate and find the third person mannequin. Go into content, then go into characters, and then you have mannequin UE4. So let me show you the three available versions. The mannequin UV4 is the one that you saw when I showed you the Maya interface and uh, the scale template that I had. And then you would go to meshes and here you have SK mannequin. That's the one you would export. So let me just kind of uh, put them in the side level just to show you. So here's your first version, the original UE4 version. The other two versions you have are inside mannequins and then you go to meshes and you would have four other versions that you can use. Ignore and avoid doing anything to the SK mannequin, the skeleton. So this first one right here where you kind of see some teal bones coming out of it. This is a skeleton and this is not the one you would want to export. But these four right here with that purple dash line right here, right below them, SKM Manny. SKM Many Simple, then SKM Quinn and Quinn Simple. These are the four that you would export. Or go back to the Mannequin UE4 meshes and SK Mannequin. That's the one you would export as well. So it's important to know which ones you would export as FBX. And it's the SK versions with uh, that purple line. So I'm actually going to export the SK Mannequin from UE4, but you could also do the same thing for any of these as long as it's these four versions. So let me go back to meshes. So what you would do is you right click on the mesh, then you go to asset actions, and then you go to export. Find a directory somewhere on your computer where you want to export this into. It doesn't matter where it is. So I'm going to go to, I've already navigated to downloads and temporary folder. And then the default name is SK Mannequin, that's fine. Save as type will be set to FBX, and that's the one you want. And then you want to go ahead and click save. A new menu will pop up. Let me reset to default. And I am going to use the default FBX exporter as FBX 2013. Doesn't really matter which one you use. 2013 has been working fine. 
Then I'm going to disable vertex color, level of detail, collision, as well as morph targets. I am only concerned with having the mesh itself. I don't need extra information with it. Again, I'm using this as a scale reference and nothing else. So I went ahead and disabled everything. And here are my settings so far. And then click export. Inside whichever folder you exported it into, here's my mannequin.fbx. And this is the file that you would import into your 3D model package. And of course, like I said again, if you wanted a different version, just for visual and not the UE4 version, again, go back to meshes for under mannequin and just export asset actions and export SFBX for any of these. And you would just get a different representation of the mannequin, but it will be the same scale, same height. Next, we need to take this FBX and import it into a 3D model package. And in my case, it'll be Maya. So I'm going to open up Maya and let me start a new scene. So I know it's new and fresh. Then I'm going to go to file, import, and navigate into your directory where you exported the FBX into. So here it is. I'm going to select it and import. I'm going to go ahead and select the mesh and just frame it. And the first thing I need to do is I need to delete the bones that come with it. So I'm going to select this middle root bone. So everything is selected, all the bones. You can see that I have root selected here on the upper right hand side. And I'm just going to delete them. Then I'm going to select the mesh. And right now, if you hit W or rotate or anything, you, you won't be able to move it. So we need to unlock it. So select the mesh, go to the channel box. And right here, you see every single transformation Translate, Rotate, and Scale is locked because it has a tiny little gray-blue box next to it. So I'm going to left-click, hold, and drag. So I select all of these transformation inputs. With them selected, I'm going to right-click to get the menu and then choose Unlock Selected. And now you can see that the tiny little box is gone. And now I will be able to move this, rotate, and scale whatever I need to do with it. Now, of course, you don't want to scale it because it is already to proper scale. But if you ever need to move it, that's how you unlock, you need to unlock it first. Then I'm going to go to the outliner. And at the moment it is grouped. And you can see that I have US mannequin shape and it's grouped inside another group and inside another group. You can go ahead and leave this. This should be good as this. You don't really need to take this out, out of the group. But if you wanted to, you can just middle mouse click and drag and just drop it outside until you get the SK mannequin grouped within another group. So that's how it should look. So and let me go ahead and delete this one. So that right now this is an empty group. So here it is, here's the mannequin. And your next step would be is to export it as an FBX. So you have a fresh new FBX that's been unlocked, the bones have been deleted, and then you'll be able to import this fixed unlocked mesh into any scene that you create your environments in. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to file, export selection, make sure my files of type is set to FBX export. My settings under geometry are set to smoothing groups, smooth mesh, and referenced asset content enabled. These are the same geometry properties I have enabled for every mesh, for every static mesh that I export into UE5 or UE4. So I'm just going to keep them the same. So I'm just going to give it a name and export it into a specific folder. So let me go ahead and uh, this scenes folder should be fine. It doesn't really matter where you export it to as long as you can back it up. So that way you always have this mesh to use in the future. So let's do UE5 scale mannequin and export selection. So now let me go ahead and do a new scene. I don't need to save this. Let me go ahead and close this. So let's say now I can go ahead and create my environment. And then I need a scale reference so I can judge how big this cube would be based on the actual human reference scale that we brought over. So now you would just import the new SK mannequin, UE5 mannequin that we exported. Go to file, you would go to import. No longer, we no longer need this one because we updated ours. So I'm going to go to my project directory scenes folder. And here it is, UE5 scale mannequin FBX. And I would just import this one into my scene. 
and then now I can create my environment and I know how big everything it has to be in order to match my scale reference. So I can judge proportion and scale of my environments. Now what I like to do is I actually create a template Maya scene that I can open that up and then save as a new version so I don't have to import this into my scenes every time. So what I actually do is, let me open that up. I, I'm gonna go to file, open scene, and let me go to my templates. So here I have a template that I'm gonna go ahead and open up. And inside the scene I have a scale reference and I have this cube that, I've, uh, that I used to use before, before I was using the scale reference, but now I kind of have them at the same time. And then I have them both placed into a display layer and locked. So now every time that I create a scene in Maya, I just open up the template. Then I would save it as a new version and then create my scene you know, with these already inside the Maya file instead of having me to import the scale reference. So for those of you who wanted to use this inside your scenes, that is how you do it.